In this lecture, we'll learn how to smoothen and also filter our data. So let's quickly generate some data. Let's head over to plot and go to function plot and new 2D plot. So over here, let's just make a sign function. So let's do a sign of X and then make this to six pi and then let's do number of points to be 20. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so we have something like this. However, we want the data point. So double click and then come to workbook. So, okay, now let's try and smoothen this. So you come to analysis and you see signal processing and the signal processing you see smooth and you can head over to open dialog. So on the open dialog, let me see if I can make this much bigger. Okay. Okay. So on the open dialog, we have our column selected. I always love to put it on auto preview so I know what I'm getting. So we have our function, which is sine of X and then the, which is the black. And then the red is our smoothed value or our smoothed plot. So we first have to choose the method of smoothening. Origin provides us with some smoothening. We have adjacent averaging. So once you select adjacent averaging, you can select the weight weighted average as well or not. And you can also choose the point of windows. So you have to know this equation to use it, or at least you have to find the equation and understand what you are doing. But clearly this is not a good averaging or a good smoothening model for our data. So let's try another one. Let's try this one. So this kind of fits quite well and you can even choose polynomial orders and all so we can choose the point of windows so yeah so this quite fits well so that is great for us you can choose percentile filter and that is also in and you can adjust some of them and you can see it as you go you can apply uh, fft filter and you can see the effect of it as well so let's see and then yeah you can try lowest and there you go and you can play with this so whatever data that you have it can be smoothened using this but make sure you know which method you're using is it suitable for your data and also what the equation is and so that you can explain what you're doing so that is that is how you do smoothening and once you're done so let's let's just try one let's say we did um lowest and let's choose any of these and you can choose where the output goes so let's just choose a new workbook and hit ok so we have our data and you can always plot it also origin helps us to do a lot of filtering it has many built-in stuff for us so let's come to signal processing and you can do fft filter or irr filter and all these others convolutions and all so for this this is also quite the same you can zoom this in so that becomes easy you can choose the filter type let's put on auto preview you can choose the filter type so if you have a low pass filter or a high pass filter you can choose band pass so whatever that you choose you can see the result right away and you can change the threshold or the cutoff frequency depending on which which one that you choose and you can also choose the output and it gives you this output as well the frequency versus amplitude and also the filtered output of your plot so that is a nice tool to have 
and when you come to analysis and signal processing there are so many other tools that you can use this is also highly specialized and just make sure you know what you're doing and if you want to do convolution for instance you can come in and make sure you play around this if you understand convolution but if you have any questions let me know in the q a section and i can do some real practical examples thank you